Age-Related Macular Degeneration, or AMD, is a painless eye condition resulting in the gradual loss of central vision. AMD is the leading cause of visual disability and legal blindness in populations over the age of 60 years in the Western world. Loss of sharp, focused central vision results in challenges, such as difficulties recognizing faces due to blurring and the appearance of dark spots in the visual field. AMD affects the macula, a central area of the retina at the back of the eye. The macula contains millions of light-sensing cells known as photoreceptors. These photoreceptors are nourished and maintained by the retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE, which is separated from the underlying blood supply by a layer known as the Bruch's membrane. There are two types of AMD, wet AMD and dry AMD. Wet AMD, or neovascular AMD, is characterized by the abnormal growth of immature, fragile blood vessels beneath the retina. The growth of new blood vessels is induced by a molecule called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. These advancing blood vessels penetrate through the layers of the retina and are liable to leak, resulting in damage to cells of the retina and scarring. Therapies that inhibit VEGF in the eye can prevent further invasive vascular growth and potentially allow for blood vessels to recede. On the other hand, dry AMD, which accounts for 90% of AMD cases, currently has no approved drug treatments available. Late-stage dry AMD, or geographic atrophy, is associated with the loss of both RPE and photoreceptor cells. Characteristic of dry AMD is the accumulation of yellow lipid and protein deposits known as drusen between the Bruch's membrane and RPE. When RPE cells become dysfunctional, extracellular drusen deposits are released due to a failure to dispose of waste products. As dry AMD progresses to geographic atrophy, further structural changes occur, including thickening of the Bruch's membrane shortening and thinning of photoreceptors, and RPE cell death or atrophy. Damage to cells of the macula leads to loss of central vision. The majority of therapeutics currently under clinical development aim to prevent and arrest the progression of both dry and wet AMD. Further research is required to better understand AMD in order to find new therapeutic targets and drug delivery methods to treat this debilitating disease.